Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft and welcome back once again to another Minecraft tutorial video and since we are on a roll with the Arabic style builds, today I'm going to show you how to build your very own Arabic style desert castle. Yes, my last castle video has now almost 400,000 views, gaining about a thousand views every single day. That is insane, did not expect that, but hey, I hope this video does just as good. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial video and as always, please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. No, seriously, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Right guys, so here we are, ready to begin once again on a new tutorial video. I suppose you got your materials ready, and just to let you know that this video might be split up into two parts, seeing as it is a pretty huge building. We're going to start with some smooth sandstone, building some huge pillars, which are 12 blocks in height. So let's start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. We're going to create two squares, which are going to be the front, um, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, you know, towers. <laughs> Got confused there. We have a five block gap. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And another five block gap. Five block gap again. So as I said, we are creating a square. So make sure every pillar is the same height. And then we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to leave a one, two, three, four, five block gap again and just repeat the same process 12 block high pillar five block gap pillar five block gap again so you should end up with two perfect size squares there we go so now using some normal sandstone we are going to be placing a back wall one two three four five six seven blocks in height so just fill this in as follows. Just like that and do the exact same thing on this side of the castle. So again that is a 7 block high wall right at the back of the tower. Now for the front side we're going to place a 5 block, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 block high pillar. Just like that, do the same over here. One, Oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and do the same for this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Right guys, so now using some sandstone stairs, we are going to create some archways as follows, just basically join this together, almost, anyway, do the same on this side. 1, 2, and 1, and 2. And we can also do the entrance, just basically place them the same height, but actually place a sandstone block on top and extend the archway just an extra block further, like so. Now using some smooth sandstone and some normal sandstone, we're going to create a pattern, as you can see over here. It's basically one block, one block, one block, one block, one block. How else can I explain this? <laughs> we got the smooth sandstone, sandstone, smooth sandstone, sandstone, and smooth sandstone. Do the same thing all the way around this top edge. There we go, so that's looking nicer already. Now using some chiseled sandstone, we're going to create the back wall over here. So basically just fill this in and leave a gap for a window. That should be a three block gap as follows. So do the same on this side. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 3. I still have no idea why I tend to count everything I do. But hey, if it helps you guys, why not? So let's do this over here. And then finally move on to the other side. So you might as well just fill this in with some orange stained glass. Obviously, actually it's brown stained glass. I mean, you don't have to use this color specifically, but I think this looks really nice as it matches the sandstone almost perfectly as you can see so yeah 
So just to finish off this front wall, we're going to grab some sandstone slab and place three blocks across the bottom and then just join up the archway with a single block. Do the same on each of the remaining sides. So three and one. Move over to this side. One, two, three and one. And finally, one, two, three and one. Now grab some sandstone stairs and go all the way across this top edge. And also, don't forget to place sandstone slab right here to join up this archway as well. So let's continue. And once you've done that, do the exact same thing again, but this time we're going to be using upside down stair blocks instead. So you know, it's stuff like this that gives that, the building a lot of extra detail. Right guys, so moving on to the next level, which actually follows the same design as the first floor, except the second floor is just a block shorter. So grab some sandstone and place four blocks right beside each of the smooth sandstone pillars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ignore the center because that's where the balcony is going to be. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And just finish this off. And once you've done that, just grab some sandstone stairs and create the archways as we did on the first floor. Then of course grab some smooth, sorry, some sandstone slab and place them right in the center between both stair blocks just to finish off the archway. And I believe that yes, you need to place three blocks across the bottom edge as well. So let's just finish this off. One, two, three and one two three now just to help you out before we build the back wall just grab some sandstone and fill this entire floor um, just basically place an extra row over here one two three four five and then of course fill this in you can join this up as well between both sandstone pillars So there we go, that's going to give you some help when you're placing the chiseled sandstone blocks. So just basically add the window, again we're going to leave a two block gap for the window, just like that. So let's do the remaining three sides. And then of course just fill this in with your brown stained glass. Now for the balcony, we're going to actually use some stair blocks, really straightforward, just place them straight across here, creating this jagged edge. Right, now if you do have a slight bit of OCD, you could make this a lot more symmetrical. Just remove these two blocks, place the stair blocks like that, and you could actually place a full block in the center, and that looks a lot nicer compared to the previous design. So I would go for that personally. Um, let's just move on to the back pillars for the two remaining towers. This is actually huge. There are about 28 blocks in height. First of all, before we move on to that, let's grab some sandstone blocks and create a wall right here, two blocks away from the sandstone uh, pillars over here. Do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks in height. So let's just do that. And you can also place the stair blocks following the same pattern as we did over there. So stair blocks and upside down stair blocks. So that's pretty straightforward. You should be able to copy that easily. Now just grab some smooth sandstone and we're going to place the immense pillars that are going to make up the towers. This is 28 blocks in height. So make, make sure you count this correctly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. That is huge. I did not even expect it to be that tall. But yeah, same again. We're going to count, let's see, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 block gap before placing the next pillar. So again, that is a seven block gap and then another pillar, which is 28 blocks in height. There we go. 
then do the same again it should be another eighth block gap one two three four five six seven block gap sorry and then 28 block high pillar so make sure all the pillars are the same height and you can do this one more time that is an eight block again with the eight block seven block gap sorry and then a pillar straight up to the top right there we go so we should have a perfect square with seven block gaps and 28 block high pillars we're now going to create the second tower to the right which is slightly shorter and has 21 block high pillars so again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. This is going to be, again, a 7 block gap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And again, we're going to create a square as we did with the previous tower. 7 block gap. And again, another 7 block gap, making a perfect square. Right, so there we go, that would be the initial structure for the towers. Now if you move over to this corner, you're going to notice this gap which can be easily fixed using some sandstone. Just bring this all the way up to the top and then place an extra block. So do the same on this side, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six seven eight nine blocks then grab some stair blocks and continue the balcony pattern just like this so that's two blocks one and two right guys so what I want to do is fill up the floor for the second level so to do this we're gonna create an outline first following the same pattern of stair blocks as we did before so make sure that is aligned and then just bring the stair blocks all the way across till it meets up with the other smooth sandstone pillar. Do the same again using some upside down stair blocks and then follow on all the way around the building just like this. Just ignore the center for now, we'll get back to that in a second. One more time. So there we go, that is the outline. Now just move over to the center piece we're going to basically add two blocks, two full blocks of sandstone like so and continue the stair block pattern. It's just basically one block further in. So it just, I don't know, gives it a bit of extra detail or whatever. So now that you have that done, we're going to grab some sandstone and fill up this entire empty space. So I'm going to time lapse this, of course, to save as much time as possible. Right, so now that we have that done, it's going to help us continue with the building process. Right, so let's move on by finishing off the front towers. We're going to grab some sandstone and place four blocks right beside each of the sandstone, uh, smooth sandstone pillars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Now grab some sandstone stairs and create your archway as we did before. One and two. The sandstone slab goes right in the center and then create your gap for a window using some chiseled sandstone. So there we go, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, oof, terrible block placing. And then of course finish off the window by placing some brown stained glass right in the center there. Now for the back wall, I mean it's extremely simple, just grab some sandstone, place 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, fill up the remaining space using some chiseled sandstone, just like that, and then punch out two blocks for a door. If you have connected textures, it's going to look a lot nicer by the way. So uh, yeah, make sure you have connected textures on, and let's do the same on this side, sandstone, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Chiseled sandstone, leaving a two block gap for a door, just like that. 
Right guys, so now using some sandstone, we're going to create an outline right across this top edge and just basically create a square. And let's do the same for the other tower as well. Should be extremely straightforward, no big deal. And then once you've done that, even more straightforward, just grab some sandstone stairs and place them right in front of the blocks we just placed. And make sure you don't place a corner block because that is one block too many. Do the same over here. And then once you've done that, you can grab some oak wood slab. Let's see. Let's see where it is. Here we go. And we're going to create this pattern by placing one, two, three on the front. One, two, three. One on the corners. One, two, three. Corner. One, two, three. And corner. And just basically make sure you do this on both towers and make it nice and symmetrical. So there we go. Right then, so we are almost done with the front towers. We're going to continue with this pattern using some sandstone and some smooth sandstone. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Yeah, so that's what it should look like. Basically, we're placing the smooth sandstone blocks right beside the oak wood slab. Then, of course, fill up the remaining space using some sandstone. Of course, ignore the corner. You don't want to place a block on top of the oak wood slab. So there we go. That is what it should look like. Let's do the same on this side. I'll time lapse this just to save some time. So once you've got that done, just fill this in using some sandstone. Do the same over here. And now finally, using some stair blocks, we can finish off this tower. Just basically place them all the way across. And just make sure that on the corner, we're going to have the stair blocks join up like this instead of this because that just looks a bit weird in my opinion so bring this all the way across making sure that the stair blocks join up correctly so there we go just do the same on this side Right then, before moving on to the back towers, we're going to finish up with the entrance, which we kind of left unfinished. We're going to grab some sandstone and place it right beside the smooth sandstone pillars. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in height. Then a corner block away, we're going to do the exact same thing, just using some smooth sandstone. So bring this all the way up to the ceiling. Now using some sandstone stairs, we're going to create a second archway just one block below the first archway. So place your stair blocks there, fill this in with some sandstone, place another stair block, and then you can fill up the remaining space using some sandstone. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do that one more time, one, two, three, four, five, six. And using some fence, you can finish up using the, using, no, using some sandstone slab, just place that right in the center. And there you go, that is your entrance complete. Right guys, so moving on to the back towers, French accent kicking in and everything. We're going to use the same pattern as we did before using some smooth sandstone and sandstone. Bring this all the way across this top edge of the building and I'm just going to time lapse this to save some time. Right guys, so we're just going to finish up this back wall and I'll leave that as part 1 because it is 2 o'clock in the morning and I have to work at 7. Urgh, stupid office job. Right, so let's fill up this centerpiece which is pretty straightforward. Just grab some sandstone, bring this all the way up to the top and you should have a 4 block gap. 
grab some sandstone stairs, place one over here and one upside down. And as for the gap, just grab some chisel sandstone, which I do not have in my inventory, and bring this all the way up, creating a pillar right across the back. And that should look just like this. Right, so the back wall design is exactly the same for all four sides. So I'm going to show you how to do one side and then you can just replicate that all the way across. I'll just time lapse the rest to save as much time as we can because it's getting really late. We're going to grab some sandstone and place this right beside the smooth sandstone pillar. One, two, three, four and five. Then you're just going to grab some sandstone stairs, place your archway just like this. Then grab some sandstone slab, place three blocks across the top and bring this all the way across the bottom, just like that. Then we're going to create the windows using some chisel sandstone. We're going to basically leave a three block gap for a window and it's going to be two windows. So you should have this. Fill that up with some brown stained glass and that should be it. Let's do that one more time and I'll time lapse the remaining two sides over there. It's going to be sandstone, some upside down sandstone stairs, sandstone slab straight across and right across the bottom. Then you have the chisel sandstone, making sure you leave two three block gaps for windows. Then of course you fill this in using some brown stained glass. So let me change the time to zero and I'll time lapse the two remaining sides. Right guys, so that is all I have time for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. It's been a long video anyway and I have a lot of editing to do. So I will see you in part 2 where we'll just finish off this building once and for all. I'm pretty sure you can't wait for it. So once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. This is Jerocraft over and out.